Hey all your sons, welcome to the Quantum Guru. In this video, we'll talk about what is audioid and we'll derive its equation on the polar form. So first, let's understand what is the definition of a quadroid. A quadroid is a plane curve traced by a point on the perimeter of a circle that is rolling around a fixed circle of the same radius. To make it more clear, let's see an animation for the same thing. So this is a fixed circle. And that is another circle in the same plane of same radius. This circle is going to roll without slipping on the fixed circle. And the, this red point is a point of contact of the rolling circle with the fixed circle. Now as this uh, rolling circle will roll without slipping on the fixed circle. The trajectory of this initial point of contact of the rolling circle is what the code added. So that will be clear with this animation. So let's see. So this is the fixed circle and this is the rolling circle both have same radius a o is the center of the fixed circle and o dash is the center of the uh, rolling circle if we see the trajectory of this o dash the center of the rolling circle that will be a circle of radius 2a the center will be at the center of the fixed circle so i want to write the velocity of this point so we have to realize that this point o dash is rolling with some angular velocity omega o so if the velocity of o dash is say v o dash so clearly v o dash is equal to angular velocity omega o into 2a so that we can write here if we see the motion of this uh, rolling circle it will have a two rotation there will be number one the orbital angular velocity and uh, a line joining the center o dash to the point of contact that line will also rotate so there will be some spin, ang spin angular velocity so it will have two angular velocity one the angular velocity with respect to the center and that whole any line any line from o dash to the periphery will also rotate with some angular velocity and that angular velocity i am uh, writing as a spin angular velocity omega omega s so there is some spin angular velocity also so uh, now I want to write the velocity of this point P. So from the concept of relative motion, I can write velocity of P is velocity of P with respect to O dash and uh, plus velocity of O dash. So looking to this point P from O dash, so in, the, in this frame, so there will be because this line OP is rotating with angular velocity omega s with respect to that is where. So this velocity will be here with respect to o dash so that is a vp o dash and that will be simply a into omega s and uh, the total velocity of p is the vector sum of this and this and v o dash we have written here a uh, 2 a omega like this and obviously uh, if you see this circle this is a fixed circle so this point has a zero velocity and if you see uh, this circle, this is rolling on the circle, they have no relative motion, they are rolling without slipping. So velocity of point P is same as the velocity of this point, that is zero velocity. So in other words, the velocity of point of contact of the rolling circle should be zero. So uh, Vp is zero. So Vp zero means the this velocity and this velocity must cancel, mean Vo dash should equal to Vpo dash. So that means if uh, V P O dash is equal to V O dash, so 2 A omega naught is equal to A omega S. So omega S is twice of omega. So that is the angle, uh, relationship between the two angular velocity. Now using this relationship, we will uh, derive the polar form of equation. So let's go. So this is the fixed circle center is O and that is the rolling circle center is O dash. The line O dash is rotating with angular velocity omega O or orbital angular velocity. P is the initial point of contact. We have painted that point as the circle rolls over the fixed circle. The trajectory of that painted point is what the quadrant is. And this line O dash P, the green line, 
rotates with angular velocity omega s spin angular velocity and we have just shown that the spin angular velocity omega is twice of the uh, angular velocity omega o so in any uh, time interval in which the green, uh, red color line rotates by angle theta so green color line will rotate by angle 2 theta and for the sake of writing equation in polar form we have chosen this reference line the starting point of the reference line is the p so now after some time when the rolling circle reaches here so you see that the red color line has come here it has rotated by suppose angle theta so green color line has come here it would have rotated by a double angle so if the and this is the trajectory followed by this point p so if the angle rotated by red color line is theta so angle rotated by the green color line should be 2 theta initial orientation of the green color line is this so with respect to that initial orientation so like this the angle rotated by this line should be 2 theta like this that should be 2 theta if this is theta so that angle should be theta so it means this angle is also theta so now uh, this is the radius of the circle this is also radius of the circle o dash p is a o p is a if i make if i join these two uh, these two and from here if I draw perpendicular these perpendicular so you see that uh, this is a the length of this perpendicular will be how much this is a this is theta that will be a sin theta and the length of this perpendicular will also be a sin theta so it mean uh, these two are same and obviously parallel so this mn should equal to this length this length this mn should be equal to this length and now uh, if the polar coordinate of the point p is r comma theta so this pp this i should have written this p dash so this pp dash is say r that length r is mn and the angular position of that point is theta so now i can write r in terms of theta as you see uh, this OO dash is the distance between the two center that is 2a and this OM, OM and uh, NO both are the same thing ON or NO dash both are equal to how much this is A this is theta so they are cos theta. So MN OM is equal to OM is equal to NO dash and both are equal to A cos theta. So uh, we got the polar form. This R is equal to M N. M N is uh, O dash minus twice of O M. O dash minus O M plus O N dash both are equal. So O dash is two A and twice of that is a two A cos theta. So we got the polar form R is equal to two A one minus cos theta. That is the polar form. So we have derived the polar form of the quadrat. Now in the reverse way, using this polar form, we'll plot the quadrat so let's go to the next page so first by definition of the quadrat we derive the polar form now using the polar form will plot quadrat so for the plotting this is our reference line and we'll take few points suppose if i take uh, theta is equal to 0 for theta is equal to 0 here if i put r will be 0 so point will be here so that point if I take uh, theta is equal to say plus minus 60 degree, this is cos. So the cos theta will be same for positive or negative angle. So if I take theta is equal to plus minus 60 here, so uh, R will be A. So we'll get two points at plus theta is equal to 60 and then minus 60. So we'll get two coordinates. This is a R A comma 60 at 60 R is A and this is at this is 60 and this is minus 60 and this length and this length is a and then at theta is equal to 90 degree plus minus 90 degree plus minus 90 degree mean here at this angular position and at this angular position we put it here theta is equal to 90 degree so r will be 2a so at theta is equal to plus minus 90 degree this r this length is 2a and this length is 2a the two coordinates are this and this and then let's take one more uh, theta is equal to plus minus 120 from here 120 would be somewhere here and from here minus 120 would be somewhere here and then r will be 
3 है put it here cos 120 is equal to a minus 1 by 2 so so the two points more will be here at theta is equal to 120 r is this 3 a and theta is equal to minus 120 r is also 3 and then uh, theta is equal to at 180 degree here cos 180 is minus 1 so r is equal to 2 a so we'll go from here either here or here so that theta is 120 then r will be a 4 a so we'll get this point so if i join all this point through a smooth curve and that would be what is known as a quadrat something like this so uh, we understood what is a quadrat we derive from its uh, fundamental definition the polar form and then from the equation we plotted so i hope that would be clear